our local star, a tiny speck, our sun. It may seem like the center of our universe, the giver of life and the source of all energy, but in the grand scheme of things, it's just one of countless stars scattered across the cosmos. It bathes us in light, it gives us warmth. Every morning it rises, bringing a new day, and every evening it sets, painting the sky with hues of orange and red. Its light travels millions of miles to reach us, illuminating our world and making life possible. It sustains life on Earth. From the tiniest plants that photosynthesize to the largest animals that roam the land, every living being depends on the sun's energy. Its rays drive the weather, the seasons, and the very cycles of life. We might think it's huge. After all, it dominates our sky and its gravitational pull keeps our planet in orbit. But in the vast expanse of the universe, our sun is just a small player. But the sun is just a dwarf compared to some stars in the universe. There are stars out there that are hundreds, even thousands of times larger. These colossal stars make our sun look like a mere dot in comparison. Imagine a beach filled with sand. Each grain of sand represents a star. Now think about how many grains of sand there are on just one beach. Each grain represents a star. And there are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth combined. Now picture a beach stretching across the entire Earth. That's closer to the actual number of stars out there. It's a number so vast, it's almost beyond comprehension. That's closer to the actual number of stars out there. And among those countless stars, some are true behemoths. These are the giants of the cosmos, stars so massive they defy imagination. And among those countless stars, some are true behemoths. These stars are not just large, they are titanic, dwarfing our sun in both size and brightness. The sun's diameter is a staggering 865,000 miles. It seems enormous by our standards, but in the universe, it's just a drop in the ocean. It seems enormous by our standards, yet when we compare it to the true giants of the cosmos it pales in comparison. These hypergiant stars are so vast, they could contain millions of suns within them, but this is just the beginning of our journey into the realm of true stellar giants. As we venture further into space we'll encounter stars so large, they make our sun look like a tiny speck of dust. We'll encounter stars so large they make our sun look like a tiny speck of dust. These hypergiants are the true titans of the universe with diameters that stretch billions of miles. Get ready to have your mind blown. The scale of these stars is almost beyond human comprehension. They are the true giants of the cosmos, and their sheer size and power are awe-inspiring. We're about to explore the world of hypergiants. These are stars of unimaginable size and power. They burn with an intensity that can be seen across galaxies. These are stars of unimaginable size and power. Their energy output is so immense it can outshine entire galaxies. They are the true powerhouses of the universe. Buckle up because things are about to get massive. We're about to embark on a journey to explore these colossal stars and understand their place in the grand tapestry of the universe. Let's start with what we know. Our sun is currently classified as a yellow dwarf star. It's about halfway through its life cycle. In a few billion years it will enter a new phase it will become a red giant. As the sun runs out of hydrogen fuel, its core will contract, this will cause its outer layers to expand outward, the sun will swell in size, engulfing the orbits of Mercury and Venus, it might even grow large enough to consume Earth. Red giants are impressive in size. Betelgeuse, a famous red giant in the constellation Orion, is about 700 times larger than the sun. If Betelgeuse were in our solar system, it would extend beyond Jupiter's orbit, but even Betelgeuse pales in comparison to the stars we'll encounter next. We're moving up the cosmic ladder from giants to supergiants. Supergiants are even larger and more luminous than red giants. These stellar titans are relatively rare, but they burn bright and die young. They exhaust their fuel much faster than smaller stars. Rigel, a blue supergiant in the constellation Orion, is a prime example. It's about 80 times larger than the sun, and over 100,000 times more luminous. Imagine the night sky illuminated by a star that bright. Supergiants represent a stepping stone in our journey to the largest stars. They are massive but they are still dwarfed by the hypergiants. Prepare yourself because we're about to enter a realm of truly mind-boggling proportions. Hypergiants are the most massive and luminous stars in the universe. These stellar behemoths are incredibly rare and short-lived. They exist at the extreme edge of stellar evolution. 
What sets hypergiants apart is their sheer size and luminosity. They can be thousands of times larger than the sun and millions of times more luminous. Their existence pushes the boundaries of what we thought possible for a star. These stars are not just bigger, they are fundamentally different. They exhibit extreme stellar winds, shedding enormous amounts of mass throughout their short lives. They are also incredibly unstable, prone to pulsations and eruptions. Now let's meet some of these cosmic giants face to face. Section 5, Vycanus Majoris, a familiar giant. Vycanus Majoris is a red hypergiant in the constellation Canis Major. This colossal star is one of the largest known to humanity, and its sheer size is mind-boggling. It's about 1,400 times larger than our Sun. To put that into perspective, if Vycanus Majoris were placed at the center of our solar system, it would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter. If we swapped out the Sun for Vycanus Majoris, it would engulf all the inner planets and even reach out past Jupiter. The sheer scale of this star is almost incomprehensible. Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing a star that large. It would dominate the sky, casting a reddish glow over everything. It would be a truly awe-inspiring sight, a reminder of the vastness and beauty of the cosmos. But Vy Canis Majoris is just one example of a hypergiant. There are other stars out there that are equally impressive each with their own unique characteristics. This star is nearing the end of its life. As it ages, it sheds its outer layers, creating a beautiful but chaotic nebula around it. It's expected to explode as a supernova in the next 100,000 years. This explosion will be one of the most spectacular events in the galaxy. This cosmic explosion will be visible from Earth, even though Vy Canis Majoris is thousands of light years away. The light from the supernova will outshine entire galaxies for a brief period, but for now, Vy Canis Majoris stands as a testament to the incredible scale of the universe. It serves as a reminder of how small we are in the grand scheme of things. It reminds us that our sun is just a humble star among billions. Each star has its own story, its own journey, and Vy Canis Majoris is one of the most fascinating tales in the cosmos. Section 6, UI Scuti reigning champion of stars. UI Scuti is the current record holder for the largest known star in the universe. This colossal star is located in the constellation Scutum, approximately 9,500 light years away from Earth. Its sheer size and luminosity make it a fascinating subject for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. This red hypergiant is a staggering 1,700 times larger than our sun. To put that into perspective, if UI Scuti were placed in the center of our solar system, it would engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even Jupiter. If you could place UI Scuti at the center of our solar system, its outer layers would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter. This means that the star's radius is so vast that it would cover a distance of over 778 million kilometers. To put that into perspective, it would take light over seven hours to travel around the circumference of UI Scuti. Considering that light travels at a speed of approximately 300,000 kilometers per second, this gives you an idea of just how enormous this star truly is. That's longer than it takes to fly across the United States. Imagine a journey that long but instead of an airplane it's a beam of light traveling around a single star. UI Scuti is a variable star meaning its brightness fluctuates over time. These fluctuations occur because the star is not in a stable state and is constantly changing. This is because the star is constantly expanding and contracting. These pulsations are a result of the complex processes happening within the star's core, causing it to swell and shrink periodically. These pulsations are a sign of the star's instability. As UI Scuti continues to burn through its nuclear fuel, it becomes more unstable, leading to these dramatic changes in size and brightness. UI Scuti won't last forever. Like all hypergiants it will eventually exhaust its nuclear fuel and explode as a supernova. This cataclysmic event will mark the end of the star's life cycle. Like all hypergiants, it will eventually exhaust its nuclear fuel and explode as a supernova. This explosion will be one of the most powerful events in the universe, releasing an immense amount of energy and scattering elements across space. But for now, it reigns supreme as the king of the stars. Its immense size and luminosity make it a true giant in the cosmos, a testament to the incredible diversity and scale of the universe. Section 7. A Star's Life, From Birth to Supernova Stars are not eternal, they are born, they live, and they die. Hypergiants, despite their size, are no exception, they live fast and die young. 
their lifespans are measured in millions of years a blink of an eye in cosmic terms. Hypergiants form from massive clouds of gas and dust. These clouds collapse under their own gravity, pulling matter inward. As more and more material accumulates, the core temperature and pressure increase. Eventually nuclear fusion ignites and a star is born. These massive stars burn through their fuel at an incredible rate, they fuse hydrogen into helium, then helium into heavier elements. As the star ages its core becomes increasingly dense and hot, eventually the star reaches a point where it can no longer support its own weight, the core collapses triggering a supernova explosion. Section 8, Cosmic Yardsticks, Wrapping Our Minds Around the Immeasurable Trying to grasp the size of hypergiants is like trying to measure the ocean with a teaspoon, it's simply unfathomable. Our human minds struggle to comprehend such vast distances and scales. Consider this, if you were to shrink the sun down to the size of a basketball, Earth would be a tiny dot about 25 feet away. Now imagine scaling up UI Scooty to that same size comparison, it would be about 12 miles wide. These comparisons highlight the sheer enormity of hypergiants. They are not just big. They exist on a scale that defies our everyday intuition. They force us to confront the vastness of the universe and our place within it. Section 9 A Universe of Wonder The discovery of hypergiants has revolutionized our understanding of stellar evolution. It has pushed the boundaries of what we thought possible for a star's size, mass, and luminosity. The universe is full of surprises. As we continue to explore the cosmos we are sure to find even more extreme objects and phenomena. There may be stars out there even larger than UI Scooty, hidden in the vast expanse of space. The study of hypergiants is a humbling reminder of the universe's grandeur. It ignites our curiosity and inspires us to keep exploring the cosmos, seeking answers to the biggest questions about our existence.